I hope you clicked in this video today looking for a color correction tutorial, one that fixes redness and dark circles. If that's the case, then you are in the right place because I'm getting ready to show you the best ways to color correct coming right up. Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel if you've been here for a bit. If you are new, I'm super glad that you are here today. My name is Lauren Carone and my channel is all about making beauty easy for the girl who thinks that she can't. My hope today is that you'll consider subscribing and even hitting that notification bell so that you can get alerts every single time I upload new stuff, which is actually every single Friday. I also have an e-blast that goes out to all my reformed tomboy family and if you want to get exclusive content from me, then go ahead and click the link down in the description box and sign up for that today. If you're liking everything that you're seeing on my channel, go ahead and give this video a giant thumbs up because it helps me out so much. With that said, let's go ahead and roll right into today's topic which is actually all about color correcting. I don't know about you, but color correcting is not something that I have been doing for a very long time. It's actually something that I just learned about not too long ago, only because I didn't really see a need for it in my makeup life. And to be really honest with y'all, I don't use it every single time that I do makeup. I really just use it when I need like to spot treat or I see some things on my skin that maybe weren't there a few days before. So today the focus though is gonna be showing you what exactly the colors are, why we use them, and then of course showing you a demo of me using them on my face today. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The purpose of color correcting is to correct the color that you don't want on your face. I feel like that's a given, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that anyway. The products that I have to show you guys today are the ones that I've had in my makeup kit, and they are both drugstore products, which is great for you guys because, you know, it's not gonna be an expensive high end. So I can't speak for the high end products of these. I haven't really tried any just because these have worked really well for my skin. So we're just gonna talk about those today, and they are the LA Girl Pro Concealers. I have them, they're like little pins that I use and then I have this other one by NYX and it is a six pack here that has all the colors in one little package which is wonderful. Let's pop up that color wheel right here so that you guys can actually see exactly what I'm referencing as I talk to you more about these colors. So we're actually gonna start with, we'll just use this NYX palette because honestly it's just easy because they're all in one. So let's talk about the green color first. Green is actually going to cancel out any redness that you have in your skin. So if you have rosacea, if you have blotchiness, if you've got a zit because it's that time of the month, if you have any acne or anything like that, this is gonna be the color that you would use to cancel out any redness in your skin. And then the next color that we're gonna talk about, of course, is the yellow. And yellow is actually going to brighten your skin. So if you have any like purpliness to your skin, actually you can even use this underneath the eyes for dark circles. And we'll get to the real dark circle color here in a second, but it does help to lighten those. More importantly, if you have any bruising or any veins in your skin, this is actually gonna be the product that you would actually wanna put on there to cancel out that blueness or bruising. So keep that in mind. I know for some girls, we actually have veins on our actual eyes, and this is a great way to actually cover up those veins. Next, you've got this peach color and this orange color. And then in this NYX palette, you have this darker one. All of these are kind of in the same family as those darker concealers. For this particular brand, it's gonna be these two. So you have this one for your lighter girls, and then this one's gonna be for your more darker tones and then ebony skin as well. These colors are actually going to cancel out those blues. Or um, if you have like dark circles, I know this is something I get all the time, which is why I wanted to do this video. How do I fix dark circles with makeup? This is how you wanna color correct them. You can actually get rid of those dark circles, dark spots, discoloration, hyperpigmentation, all of those issues are cleared up with these three colors right here. And then last, of course, but definitely not least, is our purple. And purple is actually going to cancel out any yellowness or dullness in your skin. Um, it will also take anything that's washed out and kind of revive it and bring it back to life. So that is the purpose of all of these colors, and I hope the color wheel sitting here actually helps you guys to know exactly how this works. It's all one giant circle of colors that cancel out each other. So hopefully that helps. Let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial though of me doing my makeup with you guys and showing you exactly how to color correct using all of these colors. I'll see you in just a minute. All right, guys, let's jump into the tutorial portion of the video. So excited for this part. It's always my favorite to actually put products in motion for you guys. So on the left side of my face, I'm gonna go in with the NYX palette. And then on the right side of my face, I will actually use the LA Girl ones that I have as well. And this is just to show you the difference between the consistencies. The NYX palette is actually, you can see, it's really creamy. And just the way that it goes on, 
it just goes on very smoothly and it's very easy to blend in. The LA uh, Pro Palette, or Pro Palette, the LA Girl Pro uh, correctors work well. They're super great, but I just think their consistency is a bit different. So I wanted to show you guys the difference. And then of course at the end, when I have my makeup on, you guys can decide for yourself if one looks better than the other. They do both blend well. I just tend to like the creamier base a little bit better. So we'll use both. So I do already have my primer on. So that's the first thing I wanna tell you guys. You definitely wanna go in and color correct after your primer. So make sure that's on your face first. And obviously you do this before foundation. We will go ahead and make sure that we blend all the colors in together so that when you put foundation on top, it actually doesn't show through so you won't see that so I just wanted to make sure that you guys know you do need to prime first but this does obviously go on your skin before foundation so let's go ahead and start with getting rid of some of the redness on my skin and I'm gonna start on the left side here and we're gonna put um, the NYX green that is what cancels out the redness so I'm gonna start by applying that and just dabbing a little bit on that zit um, that's coming in on my nose and I'm actually gonna take it out a little further because I've even got some redness in my cheeks today so I'm just gonna dab outward, not a whole lot, but enough that I can go ahead and cover up. And then, like I said, my chin always seems to stay a little bit red. That is definitely a place that is, uh, is blotchy. So I'm a little red right in here too. We're just a little blotchy today for whatever reason. So we're just gonna, we'll layer it on. That's what we like to do. And I don't see much redness in my forehead at all, honestly maybe a little by the brow. So we'll just dab a little in there. Okay, on the other side, we'll use the LA Girl. So you guys can see how that one works. I've got a little spot there. I got a spot there. What I do like about this one is it has an applicator and I feel like that makes this very easy to use. And as you guys can see, they are a different shade of green, but again, it does the same thing. Green cancels out red. That good old color wheel. And I just see a little bit of redness, just mainly in my cheek areas. This is, this is the area where I tend to stay red um, all the time when I don't have makeup on, I've noticed that. So we'll just, we'll just paint it up here and I'll mix it in when we go, or as we go. Okay, so then the next one, let's go ahead and correct underneath my eyes. On the left side, I am going to go in with uh, actually both of these colors. I actually layer these and you don't have to do that. It's just what I do for my skin tone. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. Okay, so I'm going in with the lighter color and I'm just gonna dab very lightly. You guys know we use that ring finger. We wanna have such grace for our under eyes. Just dab a little bit. And then I'm gonna take that second color and I'm actually going to do a little second layer of that. It's just a wee bit darker. And I've used these two by themselves, which work great, but I really like how they work together. So I just do a little mixing. <laughs> okay, now on the other side, I will use this peach color. And this one brushes out very fast when you squeeze it. So I try to be gentle here, because again, I'm trying my best not to pull on my under eyes, I mean, you really could pull it downward, but do your best to just kind of tap it on, you know? Give it a little tappy, tap, tap, tap a -roo. Any happy Gilmore fans out here? Just me, okay. Um, so then you just tap it on there. That's that one. Um, I would love to use, let's see, purple. Um, so typically, I don't really use the purple a whole lot, but for the sake of wanting to use every color today, I'm gonna just probably go along my jawline because I feel like these are the places where I look a little bit washed out on the sides, and it's probably because I see redness in my cheeks. So we're just gonna roll with it today just so you guys can see what it actually does. So I'm just gonna dab a little bit. probably plenty and then we'll go on the other side I feel like right here is where my skin looks dull beautiful <laughs> okay 
And then last but not least, of course, we're going to use the yellow color. I don't typically have any veins that run under, but I have noticed that I do have some up here in my eyes. So I'm actually going to use that. Kind of even works as a little bit of a concealer. You know how some girls conceal their eyes um, for their eyeshadow. So it's kind of just another layer of that. So we're gonna do that today again, just for the sake of having this video. And I do not have, I did not find a yellow color when I was looking um, at the store and bought these. So I only have the NYX palette to use for this one. So I'm just gonna dab a little bit here. And then let's see. Do we see any veins? Yeah, we see a few. Let's just do it. And then I have noticed, like, I feel like there's a vein that I have right in here that I see all the time. So we're just gonna, we're gonna brighten that area up a little bit. It's not gonna hurt anything. Okay. So this is pretty much what your face looks like after you get all the colors on and you do not want to go out like this because it looks crazy. But now what we're going to do is actually take our beauty blender that is dampened or your, this, you guys know this ain't a beauty blender, your knockoff sponge, whatever it is that you use. You can even use um, a foundation brush if you want to, something that's flat to press these colors in and mix them in. Just something that blends this into your skin and you want to start with the lightest color and work your way out. So I'm going to start underneath the eyes and we're just going to dab that in. You guys can see. I'll get a little more in the camera for y'all. And look at how much that cleaned up underneath my eyes. I mean, it's just amazing how much that brightens those darker circles. Of course, if you guys have chronic dark circles, I will actually link my um, anti-aging video above for you in the eye because in that video, I talk about the products that I have been using um, to help combat just you know aging. So vitamin C serum and the maracuja oil and those things have worked tremendously for me in order to cancel out some of those dark circles. So I'll link that for you guys. Okay, let's go to the other side so you can see how the LA Girl um, blends in. This is always hard because my arm gets in the way on this tabletop, but here we go. We're gonna blend in. Okay, so as you guys can see, they're both blended in. I tend to lean a little bit more over here. I like how this blends a little bit better. Um, so let's go ahead and go and let's blend out the green. It's probably darker than yellow, I'm sure, but the yellow is like in two spots, so we'll just We'll just go this way. You can see that covered up the redness right in my forehead. And then we'll dab these spots here. You will be able to see the color corrector um, before I put on my foundation. So you're not gonna be able to, it's not gonna completely disappear, but you don't you don't want it to. You don't want, that would completely negate what you're doing. So it's okay that you're gonna be able to see those green shades through your skin before you put foundation on, it's okay. Go to the other side and we'll push that green in. See how this one, it's probably because I let it sit on my face too long, but it just doesn't want to blend out as quickly and as smoothly. So I feel like I have to be a little more aggressive with my approach on the LA Girl products. I like them, but it's like they dry really fast. Now the purple. We'll just blend in. Okay, you guys. And then that is everything all blended in. And from this point now, what you would do is go ahead and put on the rest of your face like normal. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do. And I will go ahead and jump back to myself with my makeup already on and we'll talk a little bit more there. Okay, as I'm sitting here finishing up the rest of my makeup before I change and all that stuff, I wanted to at least show you guys actually how it turned out with the foundation. So let me get into the camera then for you guys so that you can actually just make a decision for yourself on which side you think looks better. So. So we have this side here that was all the NYX products and then this side here which was all the LA Girl. Um, I think it's really cool that I have on no concealer or anything like that yet and I really like the way that my under eyes look. I do like this one a little bit more than that one. Again, I'm just kind of like partial to the way the NYX one um, blends out. I just really like that and I think um, you guys know I'll link these products below for you but it's really nice to be able to buy um, all of the products in one for one price. So that's kind of the cool thing about that which is also why I'm a little bit more pro NYX. 
Um, let's see, anything else? I don't see any, I'm pulling up a mirror, trying not to get it in the camera view. I don't see any redness. Let's talk about that zit. Um, I don't see the redness in that zit anymore, which is great. And I don't see any of the green poking through. Well, I just dented my foundation. Hold on a minute. It's not dry yet, y'all. That's how fresh it is. <laughs> but there we go. Um, it looks good. Like it, it really looks nice as I fix what I messed up here. But you can't see that zip coming through and my skin does not look red. So let's go ahead and pop back to me with the rest of my face on. But that way you guys had an idea of what the foundation actually turns out like after you put your foundation on and what you can kind of expect to see. So I'll see you guys when I have the rest of my face on. It'll be just a second for you. Welcome back. I hope that tutorial helped you guys so much and showed you exactly how I color correct. And now that you're able to see that, you can actually make something customizable for your own skin. My question for you guys today is if you've never color corrected before, what about this video did you find helpful to be able to utilize in your makeup routine? And then if you are a regular color corrector, I would love to know if you do something different than what I personally showed you guys on this video today. If you guys wouldn't mind, let's go ahead and get some comments going and keep the conversation moving down below in the comments. That's gonna be a wrap for today's video, so thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope this video was super informative and helpful and give you some ideas on how to color correct for your skin type. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, please do that now so that you don't miss out on next week's video. And of course, if you haven't followed me on social media, my end card will give you all the places to go so that we can connect on that platform as well. Until then, I will see everybody next week. Hashtag reform tomboy family.